Hey everyone. After two weeks of beta for patch 4.7, we've got some solid intel on the potential lineup for the next phase. Clarinda, Sijwin, and Setos have been officially confirmed, but who else is joining the party? Let's find out. But before we dive in, do you plan on pulling for Arlequino and her signature weapon, but you don't have enough primo gems for one pull? Fortunately, here a smarter way that you can buy primo gems at a discount. Check out Loot Bar. Loot Bar is the highly fast and most reliable recharging platform with attractive discount. It is 100% safe cause only using UID to purchase crystal. We will buy pack for 6480 crystals for $85, which otherwise would have costed $100, totally saving $15 or 20% from the official price. We received the crystals we purchased in less than 2 minute. All the recharge will be done through the official channel with Mihoyo, which allows you to enjoy all top-up offers. It's like getting Kazuha in your team, you just can't go wrong. And did you know? Big names like Jello Impact, Dukaja, and Teva Times trust Loot Bar for their primo needs. If they're on board, you know it's the real deal. Now, new users can also get an extra 5% discount. Use my link from the description or pinned comment to get the amazing discounts. Now, onto the version 4.7 banners. There were rumors swirling about Navia replacing Furina in the next patch, but if you've been keeping up with our content, you know we never bought into that. Turns out, our skepticism was well founded. Furina is likely sticking around for the next update. Fresh intel just dropped courtesy of a trustworthy source, HXG Dialog. According to them, the five-star lineup for the next patch includes Clarinda, Sijwin, Furina, and El Haytham. While the banner order remains shrouded in mystery, it's looking like these characters could be the final lineup for Phase 4.7, so, what's your take? Does this lineup sound on point for Patch 4.7? Let us know your thoughts below. Alright, now we're talking! <laughs>